El agua es vida. Más sin limón. Jolly Gibbon. What is life? Riyak Asling. In any language, the link between water and human existence is clear. Next to air, nothing is more essential for life. Since 1991, Water for People has been working in Central and South America, in Africa, and in Asia to help local people build and maintain their own water and sanitation systems. As a non-profit international development organization, we believe the need for this work and your help in supporting it is critical. Much has already been accomplished in meeting this need, but much remains to be done. The numbers tell the story. Over a billion people can't count on their next glass of water being safe to drink. Two and a half billion lack basic sanitation. The number of people whose health is compromised from water-related disease is staggering. And the tragedy is that these numbers represent children who are living too sick and dying too soon. Beyond the unnecessary toll in death and debilitation, water-based illnesses keep people from reaching their potential. In the urban settlement of Senti, at a Water for People project being carried out on the outskirts of Lilongwe, Malawi, Christina Senti, the village chief, talks about what improved access to safe water means for her community. <laughs> Unsafe water has a profound impact on human potential. So does the very act of obtaining water, and women are disproportionately affected. In developing countries, women and young girls are the collectors and haulers of water. It can take up to 60% of their day and burn a quarter of the calories they need. Because of this drudgery, women don't have time to properly care for their children or work for wages. Girls can't go to school. It's a big part of why women make up 70% of the world's poor and why two out of every three people who can't read or write are female. In the rural village of Kachpukor in the Indian state of West Bengal, Sujata Das describes one of the benefits that occurs when long-distance water hauling is eliminated. In another isolated rural village, Amina Sabibi talks about another opportunity for earning and for empowerment, made possible by improved access to safe water. I in the communities where Water for People works, the problems related to water and sanitation are clear. Finding solutions is a lot tougher. What our experience tells us is that the most successful approaches, the ones that are sustainable, involve people meeting their own water and sanitation needs. That's why we partner with non-governmental and governmental agencies who in turn work with local people to provide skills, materials, labor and endless supplies of motivation because sustainable development relies on community participation as much as pumps, pipes and technology. Safe drinking water is essential for life, but it also serves as a starting point for helping people move out of poverty toward a future of improved health and greater hope. For that reason, Water for People focuses on helping community members build the confidence and direct the skills and energy needed to create something that endures. We also found that sustainability depends on changing behaviors, people breaking the unhealthy habits of a lifetime. 
That's why we support and train local health educators to make sure that hygiene education is an essential part of the solution. But as Odilia Huacas tells us, hygiene practices are not always easy to follow for the women in her weaving co-op in Sola La Guatemala and other members of the community. Las mujeres no, no saben mucho lo que es el higiene. O sea, como digo, 100%, sino 50% saben, 50% no saben. No hay mucho trabajo, no hay dinero, no hay agua. Despite the difficulties, hygiene education remains a vital part of Water for People's mission, and facilities as basic as hand washing stations continue to play a major role in improving health in developing countries. While geography, water sources, and other situations vary, our programs consistently put people at the center of their own solutions. Our programs also use local materials whenever possible and simple, low-cost technologies that are appropriate for each community's unique needs, including gravity-fed systems, standpipes, storage tanks, boreholes, arsenic filtration, chlorination tanks, hand washing stations, latrines, laundry stations, and water kiosks. Using these appropriate technologies is critical because equipment that can't be repaired or latrine that can't be easily maintained will eventually go unused. By connecting groups, funds, and other resources, Water for People serves as a bridge to safe water, sanitation, and hygiene education. But in every program where we help build lasting partnerships, the real work is done by the communities themselves. In the central highlands of Guatemala, the mayor of the remote village of Xexos Cup describes this relationship. <laughs> As our efforts are directed to more programs in more developing areas, we continue to be inspired by the growing numbers of people who are improving health, building dignity, and creating more hope in their own communities. And that's reason to celebrate. Access to safe water and sanitation is a fundamental need and a human right. Please, get involved now. Don't volunteer. Learn more about the problems and the solutions. To find out how you can help, visit the Water for People website or call us. Your interest, your caring, and the kinds of support you're able to provide can make an important difference. Water is life.